I also got these um, makeup sponge trio. There's like a bunch of them. I have never bought like an off-brand beauty blender that actually functioned like an actual beauty blender, but beauty blender is like $20. So like maybe Elf has, let's see, let's see if it works. Holy moly, that thing got big. I don't want any rude comments. Okay. This is the middle one, and I feel like that's like way more. Like this is this is humongous. So this is so old. It's the Charlotte Tilbury um flawless filter. And I have like so many like freckles. And I don't want to like cover all of it up, but this is just this kind of put this all over. I'm going with this big honker. So I live in the south and it is like so hot and also very humid so makeup will just melt off your face but this one this Lancome has sunscreen in it but it's also like a matte finish it says yes 24 hour foundation with breathable coverage and it has been really good Next, I use this Tarte Ultra Creamy, which I know there's one that's like not a creamy, and I don't know which one is better because, like, I still like feel like it creases, and I'm not like a makeup expert or anything. Okay, I'm gonna go with a little tiny one, um, but I just feel like I'm doing something wrong because, like, halfway through the day, it's like like creases in like in these lines and I don't think that that's supposed to be happening so this is a new thing that I got because I lost my contour thing so this is a um duo wonder stick by NYX or NYX or however you say that so let's just draw on the face whoa mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. Lord help me. Blam, blam, blam. I always feel like I'll just look dirty, you know? Oh. Oh, that looks terrible. It looks good in the mirror, but it looks terrible here. It's too blended. I feel like it's okay. I feel like a disco ball. So I use the blush, part shape tape blush. I do love it, but I wish that it was like more pigmented because like you can oh and, and like this always happens like where I can't open it. Okay, here we go. That did not match. It's like it doesn't show up. Doing it, wrong. Oh, my God. Blend it, down in it. <laughs> it looks fine in the mirror, but in here I look dirty. Look, look at that. I, look... I don't know. Well, now I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, baby. Um, here, maybe, here, and here. I don't know what I'm doing. Lord Jesus, help me. This, I already tried this. 10 out of 10. But I tried it last night. And I don't know how long it's going to last. And that baby's quiet. Hey, mom, stop, dude. I don't know if I can do this on my friend Kim. I watched her stories and she said to like line your lips and then like feather it in. I can't do this. Okay, so I got it on like the outside, so I should say that like.
Ah, I'm drying. Maybe let it dry. And then you go in with the other side, which is my favorite. Like a paintbrush. Ah, oh, this is a nah, crap. All right. Try again, hard. And oh my gosh. I've never had like a lip gloss that like wasn't sticky. This one's not. This is the NYX Shine Loud in a Magic Maker. Let me see. I have like terrible lighting in this bathroom. Mm. It's like awful. Like I tried to like get in front of the window and it's just not, it's not working. But well, I'm going to have to start coming and do my makeup from here. Would you believe me if I told you I've not washed my hair in a week or touched it? Okay, so it doesn't look that bad in here. I'm going to go get dressed. See you guys later.